I feel like we should get a little bit more security and um, just a lot more like cameras to make sure you know, we, we're not um, in danger. I was an active shooter. I think at first I would be very scared and I would try not to panic, but I would probably panic a little bit. And then my first thought would be that I would have to leave or I would have to evacuate the campus. I would, um, I would use my taser, you know? I have a taser, have a pepper spray, um, have a, like an emergency whistle. I think I'd have to find a safe space to be and I maybe somewhere in the theater. Um, we have a basement that might be a good place to, to hide and then eventually try to escape and get off campus. But I hope nothing like that ever happens. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, you know, human instincts would just kick in. I would just dash to like the nearest exit at the school because um, I'm not trying to like figure out where the, what the exit plan is. Maybe we might be going towards the shooter in that case. I just try to exit campus as soon as possible. That's, that's just me. Um, I don't know if in that situation it would be best to go try to get to my car in that sense and leave that way or if other students would try to do that. I think hopefully there would be some type of lockdown procedure where teachers are like, okay, let's stay in here for now, let's wait, let's see what happens. But like my first instinct would be I need to get off the campus, I need to leave, I need to get out of this area. I would probably run in the other direction of the gunfire as quickly as possible, I'll try and find somewhere safe to lock myself in. I think, like how you said, if I were like here, I would probably run into the nearest building because I don't feel like most places have any plans. You don't expect that to happen anywhere. Where you're at. If there was an active shooter on campus, I would probably run as fast as I can in the opposite direction of wherever the shooter was. I don't think I really have a plan. I would just run into the nearest building. Um, immediately I don't have a plan, but I guess my initial instinct would be to find some kind of safety or cover and try to get to my car and just get off campus. But other than that, I've, I don't think I would have a plan on know exactly what to do. And I'm sure like classes and stuff have certain protocols that they go with, like meet in this area of the grass or like certain things like that. Um, but as a certain exact plan, no, I don't, I don't have anything. Um, my dad works in law enforcement, so he's, and so did my uncle, so you know, they both taught me what to do in the situation. Um, basically, what, if I was in a classroom or any type of place, I'd find a secure room. Wait from the gunshots, barricade it, wait for police to come. Uh, you know, talk to um, officials like on 911, you know, you know, not try to post anything on social media to give our position away and stuff, you know. Just wait until someone can come and or, like, help us, you know, in the situation.